we're almost there as you can see um, the killer body I gotta say is a killer body what a kit what a kit God rank it as one of the best kits uh, I've ever made the killer body uh, detail quality build instructions everything it's superb uh, so highly recommended we'll talk through where we are so far uh, at the moment the chap is sitting slightly high because he's just sitting on a temporary thing but the dashboard's in and everything is together um, I have ordered some new wheels because I like it so much uh, we're gonna go, we've got some trails coming some trail 1.9 beadlocks are on the way or will be tomorrow from uh, Gareth Curtis and um, they should look a lot better and they should be heavier than the G maids as well which you know these these have got a metal ring inside but if the trail uh, are anything like the uh, 124 scale that I've got and um, they're, they're a lot heavier than the usual stuff and very nice I, I do like the trail stuff but anyway I digress let's take a look at a closer look at the details um, I'm gonna be pleased actually to lose the four lights because you'll be able to see the uh, Toyota emblem when they're gone because the new bumper when it comes like I said previously will come up in a hoop uh, and protect all that all that nonsense with it with a metal bumper because yeah that would definitely smash straight through that when it bends up like it has been doing um so yeah let's just move his arm because he's uh he's only loose at the moment oops just lift that back it's a lot of weight on this hinge this is the only issue so I have to move back carefully uh printed this is the second attempt at scaling the uh, Recaro seat. This one is off Thingiverse. It's actually intended to be some kind of weird mobile phone holder. Um, this was the first one that I did, which was way oversized and uh, stuck out too far at the bottom. Uh, so going off that, I rescaled it a little bit to get him. I'll, I'll screw him in there. And then at the moment, like you say, he's on this block here, but it's too high. So he'll be about there. Uh, if I need to, I can always cut off his uh, bit of his other leg to get him further across this way. Uh, but he seems to be okay there. I kind of like having his arm out of the window anyway. Um, and his arms generally come up close to where the Recaro seats are supporting them. It probably needed to be a tiny bit higher at the back, but I don't think we're going to bother about that. Um... You've seen all the rests, so there's no point in showing you that, but we will show you when I'm taking this out of the way. We'll show you the body. Oh, a satisfying click. A satisfying click indeed. Right then. Um, so, you, uh, what, I've done, what I've gone for obviously is the um, matte black bonnet. I have sprayed the white in a Toyota white. I primed it white first and then I sprayed the uh, the gloss on top of it. That way if it scratches it's only going to go down to the white plastic and uh, it shouldn't have any issues. It's not as shiny as I originally intended because I was going to do a coat of lacquer. Uh, I've since decided that I don't think I'm going to bother because uh, I was too impatient technically and I wanted to get it all together. Now let me talk about the scale of this this uh, killer body. Uh, if you look, um, let me point with something better than my dirty fingers. You've even got this here, a tiny little thing that you put on, which looks like it's an antenna that would come out. That's the level of detail we're at. The emblem is a separate piece that you pop in after you black out the back. I painted it, then I found there was a sticker. <laughs> Genius. These, when I first put them on, uh, these runners that, that, that sit on top of, just on top of the 
existing bomb runner. Um, when I first put them on, it wouldn't sit properly on the magnets, so it took me a while to figure out that there was a f about two mil gap um, when you fit these originally. So I've had to change the whole positioning on that. Uh, you get these amazing um, plastic mirrors, which uh, I always make sure are loose so that when they, if you do take a fall, they fold in. Hopefully they won't break off because I do like them. Um, you've got the snorkel with the Land Cruiser branding, uh, the decals that you put onto the windows. They're quite a pain in the butt really because as soon as you get close to the window, the static of the window sucks them on and I end up pulling the bottom off after I stuck it on. And it, it stretched and I've got a bit of a crease there, but we're not going to tell anybody about, about that. So keep that to yourselves. Um, I cut out the side windows on the glass but there's plenty of screw holes that attach the glass in to stop it from moving so that was good and the rear the rear bed's got these top details which you you glue on and uh, you've got the filler cap and if you take these screws out the side this tailgate will drop down um, you've got the buckets in the back here for the for put, putting the LED lights in. The decals that come with it are all cut out and these are placed on top of this which meant that I didn't have to paint over the embossed part which was a win otherwise I wouldn't have put that. I did consider just putting Yota but it looked odd having the T and the O in white and I thought it was a bit gimmicky so I didn't bother doing that in the end. Um, the bed is amazing because it's gonna have uh, a load of gear put in it which is quite good uh, more scale decals the decal quality is superb as i've said before the lights how they fit in tiny little screws that you put in everything and the detail is outstanding pretty much feels like a model kit and you can buy the doors with the windows that wind down uh, and the open and you can buy the interior, like I've said in a previous video. At this point, I was still quite tempted to buy the interior, but um, it's a lot of money. It's a lot of money just to uh, cut most of it away. And this one kind of works. I only had to cut away a tiny bit of the dash, uh, a little bit of a circle, a half moon, about five mil deep to sit on top of the housing for the for the uh, motor uh, so I think once the seats in that side um, I think we'll be okay because you've only got to mainly see um, you know from a distance it's not like it's a, a show vehicle that we're going to be looking at intently um, but so far so good I really really can't recommend this body enough it's outstanding it's a nice build Instructions are cool and you can see for yourself the detail is amazing and I think it's going to look amazing on the trail. I'm just hoping that the front bumper turns up uh, fairly quickly because I'm not going to take it out without the front bumper. And the only other thing that I wish I could get hold of without it being insanely expensive is the, there's like a rear um, metal sort of bumper. That you can get that goes around there. Well, you can get the plastic ones, they're cheap, but if I went for the metal one, quite uh, expensive. Plus, I can't fit one anyway because the holes in the back of the chassis that those would go onto um, are taken up by the hinge system for the rear of the vehicle. So, I am quite uh, worried about the back end of this, and I don't know if I can be bothered to. Um, manufacture and braze another another roll cage type thing for the back without it looking stupid anyway plus I kind of like it how it is it does mean that I've got to drive it a lot more carefully which is a shame but I think the uh, Traxxas TRX4 Defender has taken over the role that this vehicle played now that I've got the Quick Run 1800 back in it, it's basically a scale basher, which is pretty cool. I have also got already some uh, 
trio um, stickers I'm not sure whether I'm gonna put them on I think it I'm, I'm undecided I'm undecided guys what do you think do you think it should have some decals on it I know I've got some Grange RC UK ones uh, off Stan what Stan's made um, that, are, that are cut cut vinyl um, so they're either gonna be black on the sides of each door or I'll have something else on the doors and I'll have a Grange UK on the bonnet but I kind of dig it like it is at the moment um, but it's hard isn't it hard hard to tell also I'm not sure about um, tire options these are really really good uh, at the Grange performance wise but I have got a huge box full of tires um, that go from these small G-made ones to Hyrax and uh, I think these are uh, these are bomb what came with the bomb um, Traxxas ones we don't want them because I've got them on other vehicles these are the Hyrax and we've also got uh, some more dual stage foams so these kind of thing do look nice on this kind of vehicle and they do give you a flatter profile and if you notice on the profile of these uh, deep woods these dewa tracks uh, they've got a round profile which does give you tendency to roll more sideways uh, because uh, they're not flat obviously these set a lot uh, more flat pretty much like the trx4 standard tire does um, but I do like the deep woods performance. Uh, these have got dual stage pro line dual stage foams in as well. And once you bed the dual stage foams in, I've got them in the tracks, so I've got them in everything technically. Everything I can fit them in, I put them in. Once you've bedded them in, the top gets really, really soft and spongy and grippy, uh, and the sidewalls are still stopping you from uh, falling down hills sideways. So yeah, uh, pro line dual stage foams. Oh, amazing you can see them in there amazing so yeah I'm not sure about the Hyrax uh, at the Grange they weren't as good performing as these are um, and that's the thing and I kind of like these so we'll see options 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 anyway guys thank you for following along with the build so far now I'm gonna work on uh, my driver and, and husbandry of the wires inside and then hopefully uh, some parts will arrive and uh, I can get it finished off. Thanks for watching.